Are you on vacation? Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, good looking salad. Thanks. Mmm, what a good steak, if I do say so myself. Well, you only cooked it. What do you mean that's all I did? Well, where do you think beef comes from? The grocery store? What do you mean? I mean, an awful lot of hard work went into producing that delicious steak that you're enjoying. And not all that work was done out west on the open range. You probably didn't know, but beef is big business right here in our own state, did you? Well, to tell you the truth, I thought rural Minnesota was pretty much lakes and trees and dairy farms. Guess I really hadn't thought much about the fact there might be some beef cattle out there. That's right. Between the lakes and trees, Minnesota's beef industry is a billion dollar industry. I'm Kurt Zimmerman. In the next few minutes, I'd like to take you on a trip through rural Minnesota to show you how big the beef industry is in this land of 10,000 lakes. Minnesota currently ranks 10th in the nation in terms of total cattle and calves. Out among the lakes and trees, you'll find nearly 3 million head of cattle in this state. Those cattle are cared for seven days a week, all year long, by producers who live on Minnesota's 43,000 cattle farms and ranches. Minnesota cattlemen uh, contribute approximately a billion dollars to Minnesota's economy, and, and that's as large as, as any single industrial or agricultural group, uh, and it employs a lot of people. It's, it's just one of the things that makes Minnesota great and strong. The economic importance of the beef industry in the state goes far beyond the value of each animal. Beef production creates thousands of jobs in the state through the services which support it. It's a very important segment of the economy of uh, Minnesota. For every dollar that's produced uh, by the beef industry, seven dollars are generated uh, in, the, in the economic sector of uh, Minnesota. And uh, uh, for every uh, producer we have, every cattle producer, uh, that means four jobs are, are generated in the private sector. And so it's a very, very important part of our economy. Some towns outside the Twin Cities area are supported almost entirely by the beef industry. Wyndham, in southwestern Minnesota, is one such town. Cottonwood County is a major beef county in the state with more than 31,000 cattle and calves. It also has 160,000 acres of field corn, which is used to feed the 10,000 cattle on feed in the county. The beef industry here supports many businesses, including Caldwell Beef Packing. This Minnesota company employs 130 people and ships out 525,000 pounds of dressed beef every day. The economy of Wyndham relies very much on the cattlemen of our area. Our local feed stores, our vets, our elevators, our hardware stores, our clothing stores, the banks in town, everything relies upon the economy of the cattlemen coming into our area. Minnesota has more beef and dairy farms with cows than most western states. Most are family owned and operated. On some farms, you'll see several generations working side by side. Maury Grogan and his son Steve raise Hereford cattle near the St. Croix River, just east of the Twin Cities. They seed these rolling hills with lush grass that provide food for both their cattle and the wildlife that find a home on Grogan's land. This type of, of land is more conducive to beef cows than, it, than uh, any other purpose and it will keep the soil from eroding. We found that the type of grasses that we can produce here will produce a tremendous amount of beef for us and, and will not uh, let this land erode. Because they depend on the environment, cattlemen have a deep appreciation and interest in the land, water, and air that supports their livelihood. You know, as a rancher in Minnesota, the environment is extremely important to me, and I'm going to do everything I possibly can to protect it. Near Morris, the Leonard Wolf family raises purebred limousine cattle. 
They also have feeder cattle and a commercial cow herd. These Minnesota cattlemen are known nationally and internationally for their cattle. The reason is they are progressive, adopting new technologies that will enhance the taste of beef and eliminate the waste fat. Being in the cattle business is like any other business. We have to accept new technology, change with the times, and that's what we're doing out here. Over the past 10, 20 years, the consumers have become more health conscious as demanding a leaner product, lower cholesterol, and that is what we've tried to produce. We've tried to listen to the consumer and uh, change the product. On the Willis Beecher farm near Canby, cattle are finished in feedlots. Farms like this add value to some of Minnesota's annual corn crop, which averages nearly three quarters of a billion bushels. Well, you know, these cattle are amazing animals. They have four stomachs. This enables them to turn roughages such as hay, corn silage, and grass into a very high quality protein for human consumption. Beecher and other Minnesota cattlemen use cattle production technology that has been thoroughly evaluated. It enables them to produce a leaner, more nutritious beef. The technology used by producers has been extensively tested and approved by the Food and Drug Administration and is continually monitored by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Therefore, consumers can be assured that beef is safe and wholesome. Another important part of the cattle industry here in Minnesota is dairy farms, which produce both milk and beef. We have 17,000 dairy farms across the state where more than 800,000 dairy cows make Minnesota famous for its dairy products. There are many dairy farms in Minnesota and we don't only produce milk, we produce a lot of beef also. On these farms you'll find between 40 and 50 dairy cows on the average. With the other cattle you'll find between 100 and 120 cattle on each farm and these are all contributing to the economy of the state of Minnesota. All the hard work Minnesota's beef producers put in every day of the year is what brings you the delicious, wholesome beef you are able to enjoy year-round. And as you've seen, the beef industry is responding to changing consumer demands. A few years ago, surveys showed that consumers wanted a leaner beef product. Well, the industry responded. Cattlemen are adapting their breeding and feeding programs to produce that lean beef. And today, you'll find a closely trimmed product in the supermarket meat case. I've seen the changes that cattlemen have been willing to make to produce a, a leaner product, and I applaud them for those efforts. As a nutritionist, I recognize that beef is an important part of a well-balanced diet, particularly because of the nutrients that it provides, like iron. I believe health professionals are more comfortable recommending beef as a part of a well-balanced diet because it is a leaner product. The beef industry has become much more responsive to consumers in recent years. In 1986, U.S. beef producers began investing one dollar per head of cattle sold in a nationwide marketing effort. This program has enabled the industry to get facts out about beef and the beef industry to you, the consumer. That certainly was a good steak. Oh, I agree. And my compliments to the chef. And to the Minnesota beef producers who bring us this homegrown product. Next time you're out for a drive in the country, take a look between the lakes and trees. Maybe you'll see one of Minnesota's biggest industries and the people who produce today's lean, wholesome beef.